Shalom, brothers and sisters. You probably noticed that I'm not making two videos every week, and so I just wanted to do a quick update to let you guys know we're in the second half of 2023, and so I want to just kind of let you guys know what's going on. Uh, we ran out of Sabbath services, topics, on the calendar, and Alan, he's gotten married, he's moving, they've had a baby, so just a ton of stuff going on, and yeah, so when it's just the you know a handful of people doing this stuff, you get what you get. So I'm I enjoy making these videos for you, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be selfish and I'm going to tell you that I want human interaction. I, I want to be working with you, and so my focus is shifting. Alan's in charge of the church portion of all this um, as the head of the Brotherhood of Christ and Christine, the head of the Sisterhood of Christ, we are changing directions and we are doing a non-denominational um, Rosh Hashanah service. We just did our first one this week. It was it was very beautiful. I found it to be very, very spiritually uplifting. We get to take the sacrament together as saints. It's online. So we did it all virtually. We bore testimony to one another, and afterwards we just hung out and chatted. It was it was just a really spiritually uplifting time, for me at least. I, I, I think everybody enjoyed it. And so I want to invite you to please come and, and, and be with us in person. Um, the goal is to, once we get enough people participating, I mean, Christine and I can literally do this forever because it's it's really just reading stuff to you and and i give a blessing and people bear testimony so it's 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 not like making these videos there's no edits it's all in person very very simple um so our goal is is to keep to keep doing this for as long as humanly possible and if people want to get involved we'd like to do two a month uh, rosh hodesh is on the new moon and and technically according to scriptures that's the one that the the brotherhood of christ is supposed to take charge of and, and run and facilitate. And on the new moons, I'm sorry, on the full moons, the sister of Christ is also supposed to do one where they are, you know, kind of running the show, so to speak. Right now, it's Christine and I, but all we need is just a couple more brothers, a couple more sisters, and we can split this and we can do two a month. But, you know, that's down the road. Uh, eventually, we'd like to get to a point where we're doing all of the holy days. But it just takes time, and we're not going to push ourselves. We're going to do what we can, as we can. And when the Lord blesses us with those that are willing and able to contribute and help out, then we will we will grow and move forward with Christ. Uh, it's all in the Lord's time. The other thing Christine and I are doing is we have a goal. We have been traveling since either April or May. We've been traveling every month to meet with the saints in person. So we want to meet with you and. and, and I'll keep making the videos, but I don't want this to be about the talking head. Um, we want to meet with you in person online. And now we're, we're meeting every Thursday and, and every Monday uh, as a brother that's running a, a Monday meeting, Monday evening meeting. It's on the calendar. Just go to cjccf.org and then click on the calendar link up on the menu. There's a Thursday meeting where we're, we're getting together and discussing. Uh, so we are meeting in person twice a week now. And then we have the Rosh Hashanah service for an actual worship service once a month. And Christine and I are going out and traveling and meeting with the saints in person once a month as well. Um, and we'll just see how it grows from there. I know that there's people who, when we stop doing something, they, they kind of get upset. And I know there's people that aren't going to like the fact that we're not doing a Sabbath service. So if you're one of those people, I want to invite you to step forward and join Alan's new committee on the sabbath services uh, i will help out however i can but it's it's not my role and i don't want to overstep my boundaries um, this is alan's thing and so he's really the one in charge of the sabbath services now uh, as the head of the church portion of the fellowship so if you have questions on that please don't hesitate to ask just reach out info at cjccf.org um, and if your question is, do you guys need help? The answer is always yes. It's always going to be yes. It doesn't matter if we have five people, 500 people, 5,000 people, 5 million people. 
the more people there are, the more help we need, right? Um, we, we have people always asking us to do things. We need people to come and help do those things. Um, I'm, I'm not going to ask you to come and help. I'm, I'm just not. That's something that the Lord needs to ask you to do. So if you feel called, shoot me a line, give me a call, and let's talk about it. And <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and in the meantime, let's just do what we can, right? We don't have to be a billion-dollar church. We don't have to even be a church. We just need a place where fellow saints can fellowship together. We don't need creeds. We don't need dogmas. We don't need, you know, assigned seating or what have you. We just need a place where we can feel the Holy Spirit as a community. So if you would like to be a part of that community, welcome home. We, we welcome you. If you want Christine and I to come and visit you, let us know. We'll see what we can do and how we can fit that into our, our travel schedule. Um, right now we're planning on going to Kirtland, uh, to Michigan, to Wisconsin, to Missouri again. Um, I believe we're planning on going to Illinois also. So, I mean, I mean, we have a lot of places we're planning on, on going and we want to meet you. We want to see how you're doing. We want to pray with you. If people need ordinances, we, we want to share those with you. If you feel called to the ministry, even if it's not inside the fellowship of Christ, we are here to ordain you. We will come to baptize you. Um, that's, that's our goal. We want to come to you. So if you enjoy the talking head videos, I've got lots of them that I've made and there's others that other people have made here on this channel. We will continue making them. I have a goal of trying to make at least one a week. If you're enjoying the Mormon Kabbalah podcast, I am definitely dutifully trying to get that done. I'm trying to do it at least once a week. Well, I shouldn't say at least once a week. I'm trying to do it once a week, at least every once every other week. So at least twice a month. Um, so trying to get that, that together. Beyond that, let us know what you need and let us know how you can help. Okay, um, I, I appreciate everybody telling me what their needs are. And I'm doing everything I can to try to meet those needs. At the end of the day, the more helpers there are, the more work that's going to get done. So, um, in closing, I, I want to thank you for taking the time to be a part of this journey. At this point, I feel like this has really been my personal journey and all those that have stepped up the plate to help out, they've done a lot to help me on this path to grow in the Lord. I hope that what I am doing in my journey has even just a little bit in the smallest way helped you on yours it is my prayer that this fellowship never becomes a monstrous organization that tells people what to do or how to think i hope that when i make these videos you guys understand that the ultimate goal of all of this is to help facilitate your growth in Jesus Christ in the Latter-day Saint movement regardless of what church you belong to or if you don't feel like belonging to any church at all the whole point of all of this is my expression to you to let you know that that you're loved that God loves you that God has a place for you i know a lot of people are hurting and I know that for the longest time, everyone feels trapped. Everyone wants to hide. They want to put their heads in the sands and they, they want to hear somebody say the things that they want to hear. And, and for a number of people, I'm that person. Please don't let me get in the way of your personal connection with God. That's really my biggest thing. Whenever I talk about like having other people talk here, that's my whole thing. 
the more you hear me, the less variety that you get. And so that's why I'm always plugging for other people to write articles and other people to make videos. I'm very thankful for Brent for you know taking charge of the Monday meeting so that you know we have another voice. And, and I want to hear more voices. I want to hear the sisters' voices. I, I want to hear the Holy Spirit spoken through everyone I possibly can. And I hope you do too. So that's that's my update. That's where we're going. Um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I always like to say, we're going to do this forever. But as you see, we only do it as long as I physically can. Um, I am going to tell you point blank that I have type 2 diabetes. I'm 50 years old this year. I, I'm sure I probably have another 20 to 30 years left in my life. And it is my goal and my prayer to continue doing this. Where it goes after this, it's not in my hands. It, it really, it genuinely doesn't matter to me. Um, I know that this work is the Lord's work. And so when the Lord wants this work to move forward, nothing will be able to stop it. I know that right now I've talked about the fact that the biggest thing, the simplest thing Satan has to do to stop this work from moving forward is tell people not, not to pray, not to read the Book of Mormon, not to read the Bible, not to read the Torah of Moses, not to, not to listen. So I hope that I'm doing my part to combat that by telling you to read, telling you to study, telling you to go to the Lord for yourself. Don't rely on me or anybody else for your testimony or your witness. Go to the Lord yourself. Find your own sacred grove experience. We are a prophetic people. So I want to encourage you to follow the prophet and the prophet I want you to follow is you listening to the Holy Spirit. You listening to your spouse as they listen to the Holy Spirit and working together as, as couples, as families, as communities to one another in the Holy Spirit. And we can do that online, but we can't do it hiding in our houses, hiding in the dark. So if you're not ready, I, I do understand. If, if you, you're still suffering from spiritual PTSD and you still feel trapped, I, I get it. Believe me, I do. I'm very thankful to, for a brother that last year after conference reached out to me and said, sounds like you need somebody to talk to. And, and he really helped me out quite a bit because I suffer from spiritual PTSD myself. So you, you're really not alone. And even though I don't perfectly understand what you've been through, I do understand that you've been through something. And I want you to know that you're not alone and that my goal is to create a safe place for you And that will only happen when we're working on it together. So that's the direction we're moving in currently. I hope that you would like to be a part of it. And if you do, I hope you come out of your shell and reach out to us and, and let us know how we can help you and how you'd like to get involved. So... That's my Thursday thought, that's my Sabbath message, and that's my update. And I hope to see and hear from you soon. I'll leave these things with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.